So what is background shops? So why it is important? So these jobs will run by background work process here. So normally we have the work process dialogue update can kill B for background. The D V E B M G S. So D V E completed. P for background. B for so background work process. Background work process here. So background work process here. So here the background work process here. So what exactly the background work process here? So why SAP uh, given this work process to the customers? What is the advantage if you use this background work process? So SAP, the background processing, this work process is responsible to run the tasks, some routine tasks, some routine, common tasks, common programs to run in the background to optimize that helps to optimize our resources. We can use this background work process to run in the back end without any user intervention. Okay. Without any manual intervention. So the job will run as per the time, as per the times you have given, this job will run automatically. Automatically, it will run it here. So using the background processing, we can tell the SAP system to, we can define the timelines to run the programs in the back end as per the timelines, as per the timelines. Some of the long running tasks are there in the SAP system. Like for some of the long running tasks are there. If you're running in the long time, it will impact the system performance. If you run in the long time, it will impact the system performance here. So to avoid this kind of things, system performance and avoid the, this kind of things here, SAP, so SAP given the one, one task like background jobs. So if you run this background job, system will take care of the running the jobs automatically without any user intervention. Automate, automate, it will automate be some kind of things here. It automates the things in the SAP system level here. It automates the things in the SAP system level here, right? So, so suppose, suppose there is a task you have to run it as a user, you have to run the one task. So there are some code you have to execute it. Some program you have to execute it. If you run in the dialogue mode, if you run in the dialogue mode, means dialogue work process, if you run it on, so what will happen? It will take longer time. It will use the system resources and the capacity, CPU, everything, slow down. It will give the performance issues here. So that's why to avoid this performance issues and everything, we can automate the, some kind of things in the background. System will take care of the running the jobs manually system will take care of the jobs running here right so here so 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 that dialogue process will be occupied by the users then back end any reports or any programs if you want to execute it that will be done by the background work process that will be done by the background work process here right so how to schedule those jobs here suppose every month we are getting the salaries right then who will send the salary? Is the bank manager? Is it bank manager or any other person? He's uh, sitting and uh, in front of the laptop, he's sending that to the, every bank accounts. No, right? Why? Because in the organization, we have the lakhs of employees are there means. So definitely, so he cannot send it to the everybody. There is a human error or something. Definitely, right? So in that case, the banks are someone successful. So they will schedule a jobs. They will schedule a jobs here so those jobs will run in the they will schedule a jobs so then they will give the timelines like every month month end 30 or 31st so these people will get the salary right that they will write the one programs then they will release it then every month end that program the job will run everybody will get the salaries to be doing the month end only right so who will doing this one here every month is there any person is required no automatically whatever the timelines you have set system will take care of the 
so jobs execution reports execution sap right in the sap also to perform this kind of functionalities in sap to perform this kind of functionalities in the sap system so what will happen so we have the we can also use the some transaction codes in sap right so here i will show you how to schedule the background jobs then how to monitor it then how to assign the timelines all those things i will explain now here right if we go to the sap logon pad here system is down right if you are unable to connect this definitely system is not in use or sap system is down maybe someone stopped or something they have done it here so let me start it now right click just to provide the sid adm user id and password or administrator user id password so someone installed the nwp this there nw1 also there so it is starting first acs will start hello yes uh, sir while starting the system what uh, what are the things are happen in the background i will like... explain it i will explain there is a startup and started classes i will explain it so let's come let me complete the background jobs then i will explain it okay because there is an order to follow one by one one by one so i will explain it the jobs as well because so first we need to check the work process then startup startup problems troubleshooting what will happen in the back end so all those things it will come one by one into the SAP system. Okay, so normally in a SAP system, uh, if you want to run anything in the back end, sorry, anything running in the front end, programs or reports, normally the programs, the development activities will be the development team using the programs and the reports, they will write it, the coding and everything, they will write it in the, during in the, using the SA38 or SE38 or the transaction code. SA38 or SC38 are the transaction codes. They will use it to run the programs, to write the programs, to execute the programs, all those things they will do. So there is a one program. If you see it here, what will happen? Any program you can take it out. There is standard programs which starts with the RS, something like that. So programs are reports, it will start with the RS, RP, it will start with the R any SAP standard programs or anything, it will write it here. So if you are executing this will means it will take very longer duration, then it will it will impact the your system performance and everything here. Your system performance and everything, it will impact it here. So that is the reason to avoid this kind of functionalities here. SAP, SAP uh, given the, instead of running the programs or reports in the dialog mode, dialog mode means Normally, developers will use the, normally in the developers will use the SE38 or SE38 or the transaction code to run the programs, to execute the reports or programs. They will use the, this transaction codes, they will use it, right? Right? SE38 or SE38. 
but you need to run this daily at the same time you have to run it in that case daily at the same time running means suddenly you have the some issues you have the some issues then how can you run it you will miss the window right but if you inform to the system if you schedule as a if you run as a if you schedule as a background job what will happen system will take care of the daily executions you no need to worry about this one so that is the reason system will take care of that reason here so normally this kind of things what we will do normally automate this kind of things like so normally manually we have to execute either sa 38 or se 38 per so programs are report execution in so the programs are report execution which we have to perform it using the this transaction codes here so this is the manual execution direct daily you need to go to the sa 38 or se 38 you need to check what is the program and what is the report so maybe you will get the reports and programs from the teams then you can check it out then just click on the there is an execute button if you execute it that program will be the program will be compiled then you will get the table structure and everything you will get it out here right you will get the all the information here right so this will take very longer the results you will get it out here if you write the program the results will you will get automatically so this results you will get automatically here but in case in case the results you will get automatically in case of we don't want to run this is the daily task daily you are running the routine task or monthly you are running the routine task and everything you are running every hour you need to run the routine task so instead of doing this routine task you can schedule as a background job so that system will take care of the job execution by background work process so here to run the job to schedule as a job we go to the se 30 sm 36 is the transaction code sm 36 is the transaction code to create the, the background job here job here that is the background job why because in the back end it will run without any user user intervention in the back end the job will run it here the job will run it here to create the background job here sm 36 here right so here we need to provide the job name right so job name like it's like i can say like monthly payroll monthly payrolls here that is the job name i am running so what is the job class so this is a job class a class there is a priorities of the job is a very high priority job or low priority job or medium priority job it's a high priority job salary means it's a very high priority jobs then i schedule as a a then target if you have the multiple application servers where you want to execute this job then you need to define the target in which application server you have the executed if you leave it empty system will decide where to run it okay that you can ignore it here that is not the this is this is the optional okay then go to the job steps job steps here they are the three types of job steps here this is the important here means what job will execute either above program or rational program or directional commands Either above program, external program, external commands, what the job will execute it here. So, suppose like job wants to execute the this program name, above program name, external program, external commands, what you want to execute it here. Above program means system internal programs. Above program means system internal programs here. Above means system internal. Above means system internal programs here. Above means system internal programs here, which means system will run in the back end without any this is a program normally this program we executed in the sa 38 or se 38 in the back end we executed in the back end we executed this one right then just click on the suppose like let's talk about the above program you define the above program here go back then startup conditions job startup conditions here so they are the so five types of startup condition you want to run immediately yes no no i want to run now i don't want to run immediately i want to start tomorrow then daytime after the job 
or after the event when you want to run this job. So you can schedule it here. Suppose like I want to start immediately, but every minute or every five minutes or every 10 minutes or hourly or daily. So when you want to run the periodic values, so every monthly or suppose you want to run every one minute once this job has to be run every one minute or every one hour or every day every week or every month when you want to run this job somebody like i want to run this job every one hour or every two hours once i want to run this job then you execute it then so suppose like it's a pair so suppose like restrictions you have the restrictions here what is the restrictions means you want to execute the jobs on Saturday, Sundays. I don't want to run the jobs Saturday, Sundays and public holidays. Then I put the restrictions. Normally salaries or anything, you won't get it on the so Saturday, Sundays. Right? Saturday, Sundays. Then we can do the Saturday, Sundays as well. We can execute it here. So, so we can use the German factory calendar. We can use it here. Factory calendar. We can use it for scheduling these jobs. So, Normally, everybody will follow the German calendar only. Then transfer, then save button here. So that what will happen here, every two hours once this job will run, then so as part of the program, this program says, programs means your developers will provide the program. So then click on the save button here then job is released status job is released status here job is released means job is released means so what will happen here so so now if we go to the sm37 if we go to the sm37 what is the job so you forgot the job name then you can put the star or you know job name only monthly then just you can select the monthly click on the execute button you see whether the job is completed or not. Yes, job is completed here, right? You can see job is status is completed here. So how many seconds? Only one second is taken to execute it here. Only one second is taken to execute in the system here. It's a monthly payroll is taken the one second, one session to execute it here. Monthly payroll is taken one session to execute it here. So this will execute every two hours once, every Two hours once here, this will execute it here. Next schedule is the 23.49. Means 11.49. Now, it's a 9.49, 9.50. So, means after two hours, it will execute again. This job will execute automatically, right? So, which means this is not going to, you are not going to run it every two hours. System is going to schedule it in the every two hours once here. System is going to schedule it here, system is going to schedule it every two hours one system is going to schedule it here right so this is the they are the status of the jobs right status of the these are the three types of job status here either above program you can define it or external program you define it or external commands we have to define it here right they are the job status also there job sir i want query yes uh, in job uh, naming, uh, is there any standard conversation name or we can give any name? Any name we can follow it. Sorry? Any name we can, we can give it. There is no standardization, no? No, no standard job. No, nothing. That okay. is our wish, our customer wish. Like some customers, some customers they will follow like uh, uh, maybe program name, Z underscore. Uh, that is company wise, company edition. So, but there is no standard of naming convention to follow. That's any, so any naming convention, you can give it. There is no nothing, nothing to follow. So, okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, nothing. That is the customer. Suppose your customer is the process wise specific customer. So then definitely he, he has to maintain the, some orders like, uh, so Z underscore. And uh, this is the payroll job. So then payroll, this is the monthly job, then monthly. Then uh, what is next? Something like that, uh, like, uh, monthly uh, finance, something like that, they will maintain it. So something like that, we can maintain also here. So so, so that is our wish. How you want to name, name it, we can name it here. So job status is scheduled status. Then once scheduled, when you assign the timelines, it will go to the released status. 
then it will go to the active released ready then will go to the active status then it will go to the finished status then it will go to the cancelled status so see cancelled status so which means these are the status of the job job startup conditions they are the types of startup conditions are there here which means immediate if you want to run the job immediately you can run it immediately you want to run the job in the so date and time if you want to give it you can give it you want to run that job after the job completes then after the job after the event then and after the operation modes operational modes here operational modes is one of the separate concept here operational modes so using this concept operational mode concept what will happen operational mode concept so here so whenever the operational mode triggers this is one of the concept actually so normally operational mode concept at high level we have the detailed discussion but high level dialogue work process will convert to the background background will convert to the dialogue mode during the conversion you want to run the job so then definitely that time this job will run it here so there are the this three scenario these three steps you need to remember how many types of job steps above program external yes. program external commands above program means sap internal commands internal programs internal reports external <laughs> means outside of the above program either os level programs database level programs operating system level program that programs also you can execute it by using the background job name so status the job successfully completed that is the finished status if something is cancelled due to the error from the cancelled status job is active currently it is running status ready means so ready waiting for the execution here so released means job is released means here what will happen it is scheduled status released timings are assigned it's released to execute it here right these are the job status startup conditions immediate daytime after the job after the event and job steps here above program external programs external commands are there here so there are the so types of so jobs are there here there are the types of jobs are there in the sap systems in the here right let's create the one more here the creation is only we have to do it in the sm36 right about i will give the test any naming convention that's not a problem go to the step let's give the external command external commands means any operating system level commands any os level commands like uh, sir uh, sorry to interrupt what is meant by variant what is variant uh. variant is the runtime import variant is the runtime import so some of the programs it has variant but some of the programs there is no variant variant will control it where suppose like one program there are the thousands of lines are there but you don't want to execute thousands of lines in the thousands of lines you want to execute only 0 to 100 lines only you want to execute that program has to be executed in that case you can define that variant you can create the variant you can filter the conditions all those things we have to create the variants here v means your developer will take care of the variants creation programs creation reports creation they will take care of that one you we no need to worry about the variants and everything here okay that is the runtime import so when you are driving when you are driving how the your brakes or clutch will control the overall the your vehicle speed and everything so same as like here the variant will control the program execution program will execute by the job job will execute the program right so then if thousands of lines are there thousands of lines will be executed it will take very longer time then in this case what will take if you define the variant i don't want to execute i want to execute only 50 to 100 lines only then we can execute the 50 to 100 lines only by using the variant variant will control the overall structure here so here 
external commands. You can define the external commands. Then any OS, some parameters we have to give it here. Some parameters, uh, some parameter, any operating system, operating system level commands, these all are that. So then you are not given the two more conditions here without the properly defining the external commands. What you are doing here, you are running the job, right? So without properly defining here, third condition, you want to run the immediately. You want to run the job immediately one time only. Then don't select the periodic values. Then select it. Then job is released status. Status is job is released. Go to the SM37. Then just you can execute the execute it. If you know the job name, you can type it. But there are a hell lot of jobs are there here in the SAP system. There are a hell lot of systems are there. So, but what we can do, we can go back. Why? Because if you select the star, all the jobs will be picked up. But the job name you selected as a test. Then you can select the text. Username, if you know, type otherwise star. Click OK. Then the test job will be will be displayed here. The test one. So someone created. So our job also may be just to normal test. So our job got cancelled. Our job got cancelled here. So we need to investigate. Check the job. Go to the job log here. There is a job log here. Check the job log here. So why it got cancelled? Why it got cancelled here? You have defined as a something like connect any OS file. But here the error message is, is unclear. The program is unclear. You have defined a program fine, but it's unclear. You are not clearly mentioned the, all the details clearly. There is a syntax to follow it here. All the details you have not clearly updated in the system. So that's the reason it got it got failed. So due to you are not clearly given the details. So sometimes program issue, maybe syntax error, that type right of issues, DB connection issues, jobs will fail. Jobs may be failure here. That is the reason we have to job will be failure. So that's the reason we may have to use. So we can have to check it out. So job log we can check it out. Only creation of the jobs we have to run using SM36. <coughs> creation of the jobs we have to run using SM36 here. Right? So but after that if you want to run, the, if you want to check status, we want to delete, we want to stop, we want to cancel the active job, if we want to do the some changes, we have to do it using the SM37 only. So one difference here is 36 is only for creation, only job creation. But if you want to do remaining administration work, right, cancellation, stopping the job, job is running, you want to cancel, you want to stop it, you want to delete, you want to, you don't want to run the job, all those things, etc, we can do it using SM37, SM37, we can use it here, all those things, we can use it, SM37, we can run using the SM37 transaction code here, okay, that is the thing of the background jobs here, okay, background jobs will run by the here, sir, who are running here? Sir, we just scheduled it, but jobs are running, daily is running. Who are doing here? So, suppose, like example, you see, Santosh, someone is scheduled here, he is scheduled like a hourly. Every hour, this is running. Santosh is coming and executing. No, right? Every hour, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 11, 11, every day is executing. Is Santosh is coming and executing? No. Who? System is doing here. System means who? In the system. System means here, if you go to the job details, you have the BTC work process, the work process number nine. Work process number nine means the background jobs will be executed by the, the BTC work process only. If you go to the SM50, you see the BTC work process. Any one of the BTC work process will take the request, will process the request here. Okay. BTC 
jobs background jobs will run by the here right how the fuel is very important for how the fuel is very important for the vehicles whether car or bike car anything so fuel is very important without fuel we cannot run anything right so here also background work process is like a fuel job is like a vehicle right fuel is common for for all the vehicles here also background work process is common for all the all the all the tasks either above program either either above program or external command external program this three only can be possible in sap right only this three only can be possible either you want to run the program in the back end without user intervention either above program or external program you can use this concept you can use this concept to run it right so this is the background process concept here okay so background work process administration suppose the jobs are running from long time some sometimes what happens as a part of the daily monitoring we need to go to the uh, sm37 put the star star just only unselect only cancelled one you want to check the cancelled jobs you want to only check the cancelled jobs here you want to check the cancelled jobs why this jobs are run why jobs are cancelling here we need to fix it out why these jobs are cancelling these jobs are cancelling due to the system exceptions error messages here then it will take you through the sm why these jobs are cancelling and everything all the information you will get it out it's error messages there is no detailed log maybe if you go as per this uh, timelines if you go to the sm21 or st22 there is a dump using the dump we can fix the issues suppose like this job is getting cancelled let's see why it is getting cancelled job is cancelling okay cleaning on the server clean up finish could not find the stored procedures so get the stored procedures here yeah this is happened on the today only okay some database level something got missed and missed here some cleanups so like that we can check it out ah you want to check the yesterday's one then change the date here So you want to successful jobs or you want to only active jobs which are running from longer time so if the jobs are running from longer time means there is a system performance issue so just click on the cancelled only finished one then you will get the big list successful jobs links you will get the big list here you can see there is a big list here job is completing so what it is doing as per this job there is a some program some index are creating here so it is doing automatic automatically these are getting executed there is a huge screen log also generated in the system here huge log also generated in the system here right so like that it will generate the jobs it will generate the job logs here in the system right so not only this one we have some other jobs any jobs just it will running daily it will run number of jobs will run in the systems here if the jobs are running then only our records our payments our salaries are getting updated in the banking systems otherwise it won't update it here right every monthly we are getting the salaries because of the job execution by the bankers right so payroll team purchase factors team right so all the persons will get the data time one pay slips you will get it out how they are executing the background job so job is very important here background job is very important to run the jobs we need a background work process here sir how can we create the job in the sm37 we can create the job so what are the job step what we can run it what we can run either above program or external program or external command anything you can run it anything you can schedule it sir i want to run so i am doing the daily one excel work i am i want to run it that excel work means you need to define that excel work as a program one above program you have to create it means you need to inform to the sir every day every day my one of the store in the stores they will generate the reports how many payments have been done everything they will generate it so i want to that is the automatic i want to generate that excel as a automatic report i want to generate then i want to email that report to the so my ceo example all right 
so store either store manager there is suppose like if you take the dmart right you have one requirement what is that requirement so you inform to the developer saying that i developer i have a requirement per day how many transactions are happened in the my store suppose like abc branch then uh, how many transactions are happened and also what is the revenue it got generated uh, after the mrp what is the the uh, income we got it i want everything in the separate tabs list i want to list out all the information then the above part will start writing the code and everything here then they will ask basis team to schedule a background job but that report has to run every day midnight only not in the day start before the day starts we have to run it before the means stores open at nine o'clock then eight o'clock only we have to run that report then what they will do they will run that they will run that job they means they will ask us to run the job schedule is a condition like eight o'clock we have to run it then they will run the eight o'clock then they will inform us they will run the eight o'clock in the some some location either in the site, either in the uh, site or in the directory, it will send the attachment to the, the CEO email or someone, it will send the emails. So who will send the means here, job will run, job will generate the report, the report will send to the your customer, your client, right? That is the requirement. In that case, you need to start developing the code. How they will write the code? Developers will write the code. Once they write it, they will save it as a program then they will ask the basis team to schedule a background job. Then we will go to the SM36. Here, job name, they will like, like, so the store one. So uh, they will write the program, right? They will give you the program name to you. Then you have the program name. You can execute it, any program name. So then, then, so that is program name also you defined here. That is also fine. But you want to run that job in, <laughs> then schedule start is like so tomorrow onwards. I want to run this job daily, daytime, not immediately, daytime, not today, tomorrow onwards, daily at 8 o'clock. I want to run this job right store start with it then eight o'clock i want to all the data whatever the previous data previous recording is happened i want to all the data i want to run it this one but that should be the every day that should be every day here daily right daily i have to run this one then i have selected the daily here even i don't want to i want to run saturday sunday also then i don't want to select any restrictions daily this job run at eight o'clock, starting from tomorrow. Then store released, saved here. Then tomorrow, at the same time, when we are discussing the class eight o'clock morning, so the so then this job will run. The job will run automatically. It won't run now. Tomorrow it will run. Why? Tomorrow are you going to execute? No. Who? System is going to execute. In the system means who? Background work process will execute. Right. So jobs are failing means multiple reasons. Program issue, syntax error, something is not working. So we need to check the job logs, work process logs, all those things we need to check out. Okay. So please get the experience on the how to create the job, how to monitor it, how to change the status. So all those things we can check it out. Okay. Got it? Understand? Any confusion? Anyone? If we start, start creating, you will get more hands. So that's why so you will get more doubts and everything. Just start creating the jobs, all those things. Okay. Anyone, any questions? Uh, sir. Yes. Yeah, well, what are this event uh, after event of like? Yeah, this and all comes after event means, that's why I'm, uh, you will get confused. That's why I'm not explaining all. So oh. what, what does it comes means event? After job means currently there is a one job is running. You want to run your job after that job is completed. Right? There is a one ABC job is running. You want to run immediately after that job completes means you need to schedule it here. After event, event means system 
there are some events happen internally events means whenever the system starts so then you need to events means there are the some predefined events are there in the system if we go to the search box there are the some predefined events are there whenever the system starts end of the chain process chains whenever the cash happens whenever the payments happen whenever the so something is happen there are some things are there whenever the system starts whenever the system starts immediately after the event is occur immediately you want to run this job the system is started as soon as you immediately you need to run that job then you need to select the events after events means the event is the one task set of task it will run based up ad hoc basis means uh, it's not the daily same time whenever the system started there is no timeline whenever the system is started immediately you want to run this job then you can schedule as a background job here right there is a operational mode also operational mode concept means so every day normal operational mode concept is day to dialog to background background to dialog your process will run you want to run that one after the operational mode means you can execute you can set the operational mode then your job will run so after that that is completed here so like that we have the so immediate day normal everybody will use this two only you want to run the job immediately yes you want to run the you want to give the date and time this one this one rare cases people will use i don't think people will use this after event but sap giving the option restrictions so you want to run the job saturday sunday you don't want to run the job saturday sunday you want to run on the previous day next day not in the public days and everything so while giving the payroll salaries they will select this option they don't want to run the salaries on the sundays or public holidays why because banking holidays something is happens bank is not responsible again they have to wait for that's why is the any financial related they won't run it on the sundays public holidays here right so that is the main thing here hmm. sir uh, under from me uh, how can we uh, define two steps for a job yeah we can define it we can define it so one job they will have multiple tasks has to be performed the people they don't, don't want to go for the multiple jobs one job multiple tasks go to the job step and define the one step here once that is done then create the one more step here step number 2 once that is done then save it again click on the plus symbol we can give the one more time so whatever you want we can give the one more step so like that you can define it multiple steps you can define it normally jobs will programs or jobs will run it so normally we have to execute it manually right then you don't need to execute it manually here if you set you set it here automatically system will take care right two steps three steps four steps how many steps you can click on the plus symbol you can execute it we don't want to run delete delete button this is the delete button this is the display button this is the create button this is the change button so you have the buttons are there you can use it okay so one like more uh, right right like you mentioned like uh, after the 